Hello guys, it's Cecil here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3. In this episode we're gonna take it a bit easy again because cleaning a house takes a lot of energy. <laughs> so um, today we're gonna go for another barn find that we got um, educational in the previous episode and check out some new pure stands which we have a lot of right now since we spent this First of all here, and we also have some new natural here, because I remember it was dirt, it was dirt roads here, not this kind of, uh, I don't know what this is, but it's not dirt roads anymore, so, yeah, I'm gonna take it easy and see how it goes. And since the um, barn find is very far away, I think we're gonna begin with that, and then eventually Go for this pure stem, for example, because that's close to this one. And we have a beauty spot on the way, so we can take it on the way back, I think. Okay, let's drive. And as you can see, I take the RA today because it's been a while since I used it. It is my favorite, so. Without hitting any trees. Every day is like Christmas Ooh, morning with you. Very nice. It's a Jag. Oh yes, it's a Jag. Mark II, if I'm not mistaken. 3.8 liter engine, racing livery. But none of that matters, right? I mean, it's a Jag. You feel classy just standing near it. I'll take it back to the shop and get it restored. I'll be in touch soon. Hmm. One special car and it was really nice. So, the previous one was very hidden. It was very hidden. So, I used a lot of time to find it. Let's now set the route to this beauty spot that way I should draw by. These are the Glasshouse Mountains. The indigenous people of this area say they're a family, but they're having a fight. That's why they're all facing different directions. How great is that? Hmm. Very nice. All right, now we need to <laughs> set the goal to this. 
Yeah, I actually drove through that and I got one star, so we need 170 for next one. And if I don't get that, I think I'm gonna go for the next pier stand, which is gonna be way too far away. Uh, maybe that one. Let's go for this one first, and if it not get it right, we will go for the next one. Okay. Then we need a lot of speed. <laughs> This take too much time, so we go for the next one. It's so bad placed because you cannot drive very straight here because there's a lot of traffic there. <sighs> so okay, um, then we will go for the next one, which is a longer drive from here. <laughs> Jump from there anymore? You have a bucket list challenge to complete nearby. Yeah. Would you like me to set a route there for you? Well, we earned some fast though, so not so bad. But okay. I actually think I want to test it out with the Nissan car instead. So we just fast travel over to our place. And get out the Nissan car and see how that will go. We, can, we could also try it with that, but we try with a really badass off road car, which is this one. <laughs> it's so huge. 
<laughs> and still night time. Well, we have a lot of light in the front there, so I don't think that will be a problem. Okay, we try. This will go with this car. Yeah, immediately I will turn around a little bit. This particular car is way heavier than the R8, so for some reason I don't think it will fly higher or lower. Two stars. Yes. But we don't earn that much more fans, actually. Hmm. But we got two stars with this car instead, so it's definitely better to drive in water than the supercar for sure. But okay, I think that was what we had time for in this episode, and I'm actually quite surprised or impressed actually of this car. It flies way longer than the R8 and it's super awesome. Just gonna look at it. <laughs> it has so much light and it looks just awesome. It's so big and massive and can actually take down whatever it needs. <laughs> so yeah. But as I said, that was what we have time for. In the next episode I think we will head over for more race maybe also go back here and do some race i don't know yet and we also have a lot of new things here as well like new race piercings and we need a lot of fans to get a new showcase event so we definitely need to get more points from other festivals as well so we'll see how much we can do in the next episode and hopefully we'll get to the goal so we can get a new showcase event, but I think it's too much points to get in the next episode, but we'll try to do as much as possible <laughs> and get good points and so on. So yeah, what do you guys think about this car and especially that it flies that long? And I think I will use it a bit now to get used to it and definitely use it in pure stance here or around this area because it will definitely be more pierced than around these turtles and in water for that case so yeah we will use this one for now and see how it is so give a thumbs up if you like the video don't forget to subscribe share it with your friends and i see you in the next episode bye